Hello and welcome. My name is Jackson Choate, and this is my Montana Grizz football dynasty. I also have a Montana Grizz basketball dynasty, but today we're going to be playing in the college football playoffs. We have had a 12-team playoff, and this is the semifinals. If we win this game here today against the Kansas Jayhawks, then we will play in the college football national championship game. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy what we have here for you today. I'm going to get this thing started, as always, by getting my guys fired up showing you guys the uniforms and I will see you on the field. All right, so we are already underway here in Dallas, Texas for the Cotton Bowl, presented by Goodyear Tires, although I am not sponsored by Goodyear, sadly. Kansas could not score on their first offensive drive, so we're taking over here, and Gilman. All right, so we wanted to run the counter, but it looks like they're going to be ready for it, ready for the run, so we're going to do this instead. Let's see if we can get our tight end or somebody open. No, it's going to be RB, but we can get it to him. Can we now? Almost intercepted. Fonts fought for it. The defender fought for it. All right, now we may be able to run for this. Let's see what Racanelli and our two crossing routes are going to do. Because I like Racanelli, and he's going to he's not going to be able to hang on either. So we're 0 for 2 throwing the ball. Fourth and 5 right here. And we are doing anything but kicking a field goal. Let's see. Take that. We got Fonts out here with amazing move, and Aaron Fonts has a 10-yard rush for a first down. Going to run Bergen on the slant. I like this right here. Let's see. He's going to run after us, but McDowell has nobody over here to stop him. Nipping at his heels, and he's high-stepping into the end zone for the touchdown. All right, so Kansas scored. Drove right down the field. And we're going to keep it on the ground this time because we did a great job doing that in the first quarter and that one play will take us to the second seven to seven year score here at the cotton bowl and we're gonna try and give these jayhawks everything we got kansas is a good team miami is the number one ranked team in the playoffs but kansas is the big 12 champ and kansas is the one team that stands between us and a grizz national championship i think it's so cool to see the Montana Grizzlies in the playoffs with a chance to win a national championship. Now we're going to go shotgun and we're going to try and run a pass play here. Uh, no. Played well defensively when we try to pass against them. So we're just going to run it with Clifton and get a 15-yard rush and scamper out of bounds. All right, we've really ran the ball effectively. We run this counter well. We're going to do it again. Gilman gets upfield, has four. That's all right. Now we gotta play championship football here. This is what we're gonna do. Play action, second and six. Throw the football. I don't see it open. We're just gonna throw it away. Oh, and I pump faked. What is that? I so tried to throw that football away. Now we're gonna have a long third down and 24. So let's just chuck this baby up there and see what happens. We got Fonts going up and getting it. I didn't think he was going to come down with it, nor did I think it was going to be an accurate pass. And McDowell just puts it right on the money. First down, Grizz, and we are rolling. Let's go. Now we're going to try and get back to running the football here. We've done well. We can get Gilman in there for the touchdown. That'd be big. All right, they got one high safety, but I still want to try and set him up with his counter. Run right over the safety and get down to a first and goal, Grizz. Let's go, guys. Eli Gilman has ran his way down the field. McDowell has helped out. The O-line has played 
phenomenally this first half, and Gilman just can't get to the goal line there, but he's a little bit closer. Let's see what happens here. All right, so we got Ostomo out here this time, so we're not running the ball. We're just going to have a little Johnny Manziel moment for McDowell here. Fakes the pass. This time he spins into the end zone for the touchdown. Last time he pump faked it on accident. We got sacked, and this time we get into the end zone. Two rushing touchdowns for Clifton McDowell to start this one off. But Kansas is not going away. They scored a touchdown, leaving us only five seconds on the clock. Let's see who we go with. It's Bergen. No, it's White. It's intercepted. It doesn't matter. And that will take us to the end of the first half. And we're okay with the interception. We're just throwing it up there. Hail Mary. I'll go ahead and leave the halftime show in here for this one. Me and Reese will break it down for you. There's the sack. First pump fake. Here's the big time throw down the field to Fonts. And there's the second pump fake and the spin into the end zone. We're going to throw it downfield to White here and it's intercepted. But we got a good game going on here in the semifinals of the college football playoffs. And here's some first half stats for you. It'll be fun to watch in the second half. That's it for us here. We are ready to start this thing off for the second half of play. Thank you so much for watching. And right, let's go guys, ahead and try and get a kickoff half. return for a touchdown here with Junior Bergen, who will take this from about the three-yard line. Not a bad return. Not a bad Jump kick to return at all. And he is down the sideline. They're not going to be able to catch him. Junior Bergen is gone to start this second half. A 98-yard return, so he caught it at the two. But it's going to go for six nonetheless. All right, so after our kickoff return for a touchdown, Kansas ran a run play 75 yards. We're going to go for Bergen again. Can he make another great play? Not quite yet. It's going to be slapped to the turf. All right, here we go. We're just going to run this thing. Run the ball, and we have nowhere to go, bro. We have a third and long here in a tie ball game, so we definitely need to convert on this, though. We're going to change Racanelli to a zig and see what we can do here. I like why it's Fonts. Fonts has a first down. Nice. All right, so it looks like they really want to keep us from running the ball, but we're going to come out here in a wildcat formation anyways, and it's not going to work. <laughs> now we will bring both of our running backs out here and see what we can do. Not much. It looks like we're not going to get the pass, but we do have a nice run from Clifton McDowell for 25 yards. Let's go. All right, if you watch this channel enough, you'll know that we like to run this play a lot. See who we got. It's Fonts again with a touchdown, diving for the pylon. He's got it. Touchdown, Grizz. Let's go. All right, now Kansas fumbled the football. We'll take over. We're going to run it here with McDowell, and McDowell has all day to run. He will shake a man. Clifton McDowell has one pick, one touchdown, and two touchdowns on the ground. 8.3 a carry. What a game for the Grizz. To take a two-touchdown lead here, we're going to try and throw this thing in the end zone. I like throwing at the Fonts, honestly. Fonts battling, forcing his way into the end zone. Aaron Fonts has been a dog all season, and he gets his second touchdown of the game. That's four for Clifton McDowell, if you're not counting. Give you the old Justin Jefferson. Let's go. I don't know what we're doing here. I hope we're not frozen. <laughs> so our game did not freeze, and neither did Kansas, because they came right out and scored. Made it a one-possession game again, and Gilman has a 10-yard rush. Second and in inches here. We're going to go Wildcat. We got Gilman. Has the first down. That's all we needed from him, and for him to hold on to that ball, which he does. I don't care how many yards he gets. I just want two hands on that football. Keep it on the ground and keep it high and tight, boys. Nice little pitch there to Gilman, and Gilman has more. He's not done today. He's eating. We'll give it to him again here. 3D linemen, three linebackers. No match for Ostomo, though, as he's out of bounds. We won't run the clock, but at least we do get the first down. Now we'll bring both of our backs out. And it looks like we got X Harris on the field this time. 
almost intercepted. Instead, it will be an incomplete pass. So we're gonna try and put this baby back on the ground, run the ball here with either McDowell or Gilman. And it looks like it's McDowell as he makes a couple of spins to get to the line of scrimmage and gets pushed three more yards. So we will have a big third and six here. And we got Schaefer the tight end will come up throwing nine yard reception from the big man. All right, and this is very much so a Gilman game. The Eli Gilman game, for sure. But how can you have an Eli Gilman game with no Eli Gilman touchdowns? He breaks a tackle, gets one yard. This guy always just falls forward. All right, so this is just what I want to do here. We're going to toss it to him. All right, this is the plan. Move Danik over. Bo Danik. He slips to the backfield, and we got a first down. It's all good. We don't need the touchdown just yet. We're still trying to run clock. All right, we're going to run clock here. Because if you haven't watched my 12-team playoff live stream, um, I'm just going to tell you all what happened there. We had Oklahoma, and I was playing as OU. We were playing against Oregon, and I had the game wrapped up and won, and I tried to run the ball, and we fumbled. So we're not going to do that at all. Just gonna hold on to this ball, put two hands around it, and we're gonna run this clock out. Because they have no timeouts. And this is a one possession game, so I do not want to fumble the ball and have them take it the distance. Blah, blah, blah. Now we can just end this right here. We're one for one on fourth down conversions, so we're gonna see if we can get it in here. Four, three, two. Gilman to the edge, and he will walk into the end zone untouched for his first touchdown of the game. But he had a great game yardage-wise. This guy has been our workhorse all season. Ostomo is a great change of pace third down back, but on this game, Gilman is just a tank, bro. That's going to be the end of the game here. We are sent straight to the national championship game after this. And guys, can't thank you enough for watching. This has been a great dynasty series in my eyes. I'm, I'm very proud of it, uh, if you haven't been able to tell. It's been super fun being able to play as the Grizz on NCAA 14, thanks to college football revamped and the dynasty tool. Everybody over there has done such a great job with this whole mod and the whole college football revamp scene. I'm so glad those guys have a chance to work on College Football 25 because that those those brave souls who have worked on this game since NCAA 14 died out. They have been a prayer for everybody who loves college football gaming. And I want to thank y'all so much for giving us this in a time of need where we've been in a college football gaming drought. It is coming back with College Football 25, and I'd like to give y'all a little bit of taste of what College Football 25 is going to look like when the Dynasty comes out, because these guys have done such a good job on College Football Revamp that, I mean, I'm going to play whatever they put out, bro. If the game looks like Madden, smells like Madden, and it is, in fact, dog crap, then, I mean, hey, they at least gave us dog crap with college football uniforms and college football skins and all the new freaking crap that we've been craving so long. All right, we need a new paint. Of, we need a new fresh coat of paint on our Madden games because Madden's just dead to me. I don't even like playing Madden. I got the free trial and I didn't even used my five hours or whatever. It was nowhere near as fun as this Montana Chris Dynasty, and that's all I'm trying to say. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Whew. We're going to the national championship, baby. Thank you so much. One more time, like the video, subscribe. Peace, love, and happiness. Stay blessed. As always, peace.